the sweetest disposition. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? Who never dream of starting a fight? Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck. I'll get it, Mummy. Good morning, Mr. Postman. Morning, Miffy. I've got a postcard here for you. For me? Thank you. Mummy, Mummy! Look! The postman brought me a postcard. How exciting! Let's have a look at the picture on the front and see if we can guess who it's from. Hmm. Hmm. That mountain looks very high and very snowy. No clues there. Let's see what it says on the back. Oh, it's from Uncle Pilot. Uncle Pilot? <laughs> it must be one of the places he's flown to. Dear Mickey, I have been very busy exploring new countries. I've seen lots of things on my travels, but this mountain was the biggest and the coldest. <laughs> lots of love, Uncle Pilot. It was nice of Uncle Pilot to send me a postcard. Well, why don't you send him one back? You can tell him all the exciting things you get up to. But I don't get up to exciting things. Not like Uncle Pilot. Yes, you do. I'll help you write one if you like. Oh, yes, please. But I haven't got a postcard. Here you are. You can buy a nice one from Barbara's shop. And then we can write it together. Thanks, Mummy. See you later, Miffy. <laughs> Where are you off to, Miffy? I'm going to Barbara's shop to buy a postcard to send to Uncle Pilot. That's a nice idea. What are you going to write? I don't know. Uncle Pilot always has exciting things to write about, but I don't. <laughs> I'm sure you'll think of something. I hope so. I'm nearly at the shop. Hello, Barbara. Miffy, what can I do for you today? I'd like to buy an exciting postcard, please. An exciting postcard? Well, let's see what we can find. Here we are. Oh, dear. What's the matter, Barbara? This is where the postcard should be, but I've run out. Oh, no. Don't worry. I think I've got some in the storeroom. Will you look after the shop for me while I go and see? Me? Look after the whole shop? It won't be for long. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'll do my best. <laughs> I know you will. See you in a minute, Miffy. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Uh. <sighs> Welcome to Miffy's shop. How can I help you? Hello, Melanie. <gasps> Miffy. Hello, Grancy. Oh, welcome to my shop. What are you doing behind there? I'm looking after the shop for Barbara. What can I do for you today? I'd like two carrots, please. This way. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Two carrots. That will be two coins, please. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Oh, I mean Miffy. <laughs> and what would you like, Grunty? I'd like one of those, please. OK. Oh, it's very sticky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yum, thank you. Call at Miffy's shop again soon. Bye. Bye, Miffy. Sorry that took so long, Miffy. They were right at the back. We had customers. We did. And you served them all by yourself. Mm hmm. Well done, Miffy. Now let's choose an exciting postcard for you. Mm. Uh. Ah, 
Oh, this one. Miffy's shop. Oh, I mean, your shop. You did such a good job looking after my shop. You can have the postcard for free. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Bye. Bye, Miffy. Look, Mummy, I got a postcard. It's a picture of Barbara's shop. Well done. And did you think of something to write while you were out? No, I was so busy I forgot. Busy? Why, what did you get up to? Well, I went to the shop, but Barbara had run out of postcards. So she went to find some and I had to look after the whole shop, all by myself. And I sold things to Melanie and Grunty. And I got a bun stuck to me, <laughs> like this. And then Barbara gave me the postcard for free to say thank you. Oh. <laughs> Slow down, I can't keep up. And look, the postcard is already full. I did have lots of exciting things to write about after all. Oh, I need some more postcards. Then we can write one to Grandma and Grandpa and Aunt Alice and... Miffy, if I write all those, my arm will drop off. Miffy? Miffy?